Oh, cheery lovers. Uh, yesterday, the wife and I got all of her greens picked. We uh, pretty much got everything out of the garden. We're gonna still pick greens through end of November, but we got a lot and we're gonna be heading on back home and and we got quite a bit of tomatoes. We got the darn, we got a lot of corn, I love it. And uh, carrots are gonna be the next time I come up, but I'm just walking through the apple orchard and uh, everything's looking good. We I think we've had a frost, I really do. Uh, a slight one because the trees are all, the apple trees are starting to turn colors and everything and some of the leaves have been gone. Let me turn it around. Yeah, I sigh a little bit when I see that barn or shed. Uh, my son and I are going to do a video on it. We're going to finish the eaves and then hopefully I'll get some paint on it before winter because it's two years overdue. But we're going to get that box in in a video. Uh, garden, like you said, you guys saw in the last video that the garden and everything is doing fantastic. Joyce transplanted some more greens because they were too close and that was three weeks ago and by God today they took off and that's what you've seen in the last video of us doing greens. So far as the garden, garden is fantastic. Corn, I still have corn. If you look down there, I still have corn down through there. I'm letting the stalk or the ears grow only because there's not much die off down below. So that means they're still growing and I'm going to let the corn, those ears that are left grow and when I come back up, uh, hopefully everything will be okay. Like I said before, the tomatoes, I don't know people, tell me, I need somebody to tell me what that is, it causes the tops to rot down on the tomatoes and not, uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know. I know we had a lot, a lot, a lot of them on our tomatoes and that's just not good. And I mean, I want tomatoes, I, I need them, but I don't need to have, yeah, I don't need to have them. I just don't, that rotten. I need me tomatoes not animals and everything else but yeah they had a lot of black on them and they're rotting down on the top i think they're called black rot but i'm not sure and i don't know how to get rid of it and uh for next year so if anybody knows how and what it is please please let me know i really do i really need to know but this morning right now as i'm walking around it's uh 61 degrees coming out of the north so it's cool but as far as our trees in here, uh, all of them are finally starting to branch out and take over. And this one, that's the worst. That is one of the air, high tunnels, the worst. I mean, the worst of the frost freeze three years ago that darn near killed everything. Let me explain something to you why I say that they're recovering. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm going to go as close as I can to it. That though that branch down there, if you can see it, is not truly round. The branch on it, right in through here, if you guys can see it, is oblong. Well, that's where the growth on the tree is growing, where the other part hasn't grown, and that's the reason why you see it. A lot of it you see right here. That's uh, outer bark right here growing more. And this is where the dead was. And that's how these trees are recovering because they are swelling around the, uh, the trunk of the tree and prov providing the nutrients up there. That's why it's taken so long for these to recover. But they are recovering and they're, they're, you know, they're growing. And that's another, first I thought it was some kind of disease, but it isn't. But this is what I want to show you. See right through here? This is the branch co co covering up what it you know because it basically this is the new growth the dead growth that was on it and that's what's given the nutrients for this tree and they're recovering really really nice i gotta buy some more trees put them in here and get them going because i gotta fill this high tunnel up but yeah that's what happened three years ago these trees are slow to recover because they had the worst damage on them 
Now let me go over here to the other high tunnel. Uh, this high tunnel, is, you guys, you can see, is doing fantastic. It's the trees are they recovered quickly, and for some reason, I don't have none of the the rot like I had or the dead dead branches or dead star or, you know, trunk. So this is doing really good. We do have some, and there's one right here, but it's recovering nicely. So, anyways, like I said, it's. We're doing good. If I was a huge commercial cherry farm, I would have went ahead and, and dug these up and transplanted, put new ones in and take these right out. But because I'm a small farmer and I need to save everything I can, that's the reason why instead of just digging these all up, and starting over and it would have been faster to go that route because I would have uh, the trees would have grown faster these are growing a little slower and that's the reason but that wasn't the excuse why I didn't get cherries this year if you guys back and look at another video uh, mother nature threw a big curve to me so anyways I'm out here walking around checking everything out before we go home because I just like to look around and see, I mean, the trees are growing nicely. They're big, huge. Are they, <laughs> are they uh, ready? They've been ready. I just have to, look at this folks, under the high tunnel. I did not plant this. It's inside the high tunnel. Look at that. A wild petunia evidently, has to be. I didn't plant it. I'll be darn. Wow, amazing. Things are winding down up here and just thought I'd come out and take a minute and yak with you guys. Tell you, it is a beautiful day, but it's not real warm. Sun's out, sun feels great. Got a few things I gotta do, just a little a puttering. And uh, then like I said, the next time we come up, my son and I are coming up, we're gonna finish off boxing the eaves in and hopefully slap some paint on that that shed and that'll probably be it for this season up on the farm except for a little bit of putter and stuff like that you'll see in the videos uh first week in november we have a vacation like we always do coming up and uh we're heading forth a uh uh, not the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Jamaica. We're heading for Jamaica again, and we're going to stay in. Found a real nice place we're going to stay at, and all of the kids and I are all going. And we're going to have a good time, and we're going to take you guys along on that. But that's not till November. So, got a little ways to go on that. But like I said, I got things out here that I got to get done. So, got to take some stuff that I brought up from home and put it in the shed. It's in my truck. and so I'm going to let you guys go. You guys uh, have a good one. I uh, hope it's a nice warm day where you're at. Like I always tell you, we still haven't had miserably hot temperatures like you guys down there, down in the south. We we didn't have none of that this year. And matter of fact, it's been real cool. Matter of fact, it's real cool right now. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. You guys, uh, like I said, hit that like and subscribe up there. Like and subscribe doesn't cost you anything just like and subscribe and tell us you're there comment we would love it and by the way comment on what's going on with those tomatoes is it black rot or whatever it is let me know let me know all right you guys take it easy we'll see you on the next one bye now